Welcome back to the V Studio. Right now we have Phil Eid from Oyala with us. So Phil, could you share with us some of the key trends you see taking place in today's media industry? Yes, I think the first one we see is increased competition that our customers are facing. Um, at the high end of the media, we're seeing companies like um, Amazon and Netflix spending a lot of money. There's almost an arms race in content, and that's been a lot of pressure on traditional broadcasters. And at the other end, there's social media. There's people actually putting their media onto YouTube and Facebook and things like that. And that's making uh, a market very segmented, and our customers are having to have new ideas and greater quality content to actually attract that audience. So that's the first thing we're seeing. Um, I think the second thing we're seeing inside our customers' businesses is a, an increase in complexity. Because mm -hmm. every time they need to launch a new service on a new platform, mm -hmm. and many of these customers are trying to launch their own direct-to-consumer platform to compete with the likes of Netflix, it's adding complexity. Mm -hmm. And that complexity um, is happening at a time that, where budgets quite often are reducing. Mm -hmm. But on the positive side of things, there's a lot of new opportunities as well we're seeing. Uh, things like um, uh, VR, AR and 360. We've got clients that are using this content on major sports events and need mm -hmm. that to be managed as well. But that also adds to the complexity. Yep. So that is a general trend. Increasing mm -hmm. competition, increasing yep. complexity, but still with plenty of opportunities. Yep. So what are solutions that we are like highlighting this year at Broadcast Asia? Well, we're showing our Uyala Flex media platform, which is a central platform that goes in the uh, uh, connects the entire content uh, supply chain. So whether we're talking to studios that are producing content and editing content, all the right way through to distribution and monetization, we've got a central hub that brings the entire operation together. Mm -hmm. And it actually tackles those problems or those trends we were talking about just mm -hmm. now. So with the increased amount of content, you need to be able to manage more content and bring it to market quicker. So we have the metadata management and the workflow and the analytics mm -hmm. to enable our clients to manage that complexity mm -hmm. and bring new types of media to market quicker. Mm -hmm. And if they want to take advantage of these new immersive technologies like VR and AR, mm -hmm. we can do that with them as well. Mm -hmm. So all the way from production, yeah. all the way through to the monetization, yes. we can help our clients. Mm -hmm. And today is the final day of Broadcast Asia. How do you find the show? It's been a very busy and a very successful show. We've been uh, very pleased with the quality of the meetings we've been having. Um, a range of customers, uh, as I say, all the way from production through to distribution. Mm -hmm. And our customers are beginning to realize this um, is more than just technology. It's about the total cost of ownership. It's about yeah. having solutions put in place that can help them manage their complexity, mm -hmm. help them get to market quicker, but not just on day one. They need systems that they can continue to evolve as their business mm -hmm. and as the market evolves. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Phil. I hope we'll have a great broadcast session. Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank right. you very much. Thank you.